Hey guys, what's going on? When we last left off... Oh my gosh, I gotta go through all this dialogue again. I need to remember to save more. Alright, we'll just skip through all this. Anyways, when we last left off, we went through all this. His head hurt, crooked man barged in on us in the bar. And we gotta find a way to beat him. So, this should be fine. Once again, guys, I want to apologize for not uploading last week. Had some stuff come up. I don't know how many times I can apologize about that. I feel really bad about it. But this week, going to get lots of stuff up and record lots of this. Going to record lots of Pixelmon, Happy Wheels. Might do something else. I don't know. Let's save. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to try to do these from anywhere from like 15 to... um. 25, not 15, 15 to 20 minute parts. Alright, save. Good stuff. Uh, okay. So it's full. So honestly, I feel like I could light him on fire. Could do something to grab the. Uh, can I item lighter? There's gotta be, gotta be something I can do. Two beer bottles, lighter. Ah, oh, he's covered in alcohol. Mate. He should be plenty flammable. There we go. Hey, crooked man, what's up, buddy? Take that damage over time, bitch. He ran away. Phew. the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need to defend myself and I work. The food storage! Give me that fruit knife. Give me that fruit knife. I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. Get out of here. Get out of here. Take me to the food storage. And oop. Oh. And fruit knife. Or it could just fall on the ground. Fruit knife. Maybe I should take it just for self defense. I wouldn't even self defense. I would just straight up murder the hell out of there's blood. Blood? This wasn't here there. And I know where it goes. Did something happen to this? I bet look for. Well, let's follow this convenient blood. Uh, that doesn't go in there. Here? No. This way, up the steps, maybe. No. This way. Okay. This way. This way. This way. This way. The door is unlocked. Holy shit, sissy! You on your period, sissy? What are you doing here? Your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not that big a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you have anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really? Don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can try to at least wrap it up. No. Oh. I guess this is better than nothing. It doesn't hurt. It's fine caught on something my butt. I know exactly what happened. Thank you. You're so kind, David. And you don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? 
It's silly that I'm wandering around this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Uh huh? He left me quite a while ago. But while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. For those of you who haven't been able to piece it together... Yeah, that, that should confirm it for you. The dude and sissy... Yeah. Now Dave with the dude he's looking for. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since. But I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him. But it was no good. Coming here brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness. But when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a little while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Found a key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. I have a guesstimate as to where this should go. Why are you always like this, David? Like... Like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean... I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Ooh. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look. Please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm in... If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but it would just be an annoyance for us both to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. W wait, we can talk this out. Surely! Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Possibly, David. Possibly. So, my guess said it would go to this door. Yep. It, ooh, this is nice. How is this here, though? Something's in the fountain. The box! A box! Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. Swoosh! It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Got Sissy's box. Is there anything else out here? It doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Alright, let's save. Something's bound to happen. The crooked man's bound to try to screw me over. Or she'll just not be there and stuff will go downhill. Either one of these things are possible. And she's not here. Huh? Did Sissy leave? But she's wounded. Sissy? See, except now I have no idea where this is coming from. 
I'm assuming because piano's playing is coming from in here. Yep, sissy. Done told you to be careful. No, no, stay away. Kapanch, Falco, kick. Stop right there. Back off, monster. David. Damn it. Sissy, get out of the hotel. D David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. Shink. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Epic boss fight! Alright, now I gotta figure out how to... Okay. Come on. Hey ya Hey ya Don't you do this. Don't you do this, crooked man. Gotta be careful with his speedy up. Oh, no you don't. Hey ya Oh, nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Nope, you ain't touching me. Bad crooked man. He looks like some messed up version of Steven Stone. Correct. 100% of it. Uh, I'm coming through the doorway. David. Ka-chunk. David. David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. Never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt, but... Sissy? What's wrong? Are you sick? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? I, I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I, can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone, somebody help. Sissy. Please, don't cry. Crying won't do any good. I know all too well how you feel, but... It may be tough, but you have to move on. You know that, don't you? You can't keep going on like this. I'm sure someone will understand you someday. So please, don't cry. You won't even let me cry? There's really nothing I can do. Oh, I made the bad choice, didn't I? This is your treasure. I found it in the courtyard earlier. You decided to forget everything, right? I'm sorry. I was selfish. I know better than anything that I can't keep going like this. I chose the bad one. I chose the bad one. Oh, no. It's a precious memory. But I don't need it anymore, do I? I'll be going now. Sorry I couldn't help you, David. I hope you find who you're looking for. Yeah. Thanks, sissy. Be well. No! No, 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 Hey, open up! Sissy! Sissy! Damn it, stop it! Stop it right now! Don't so much as such open this door! Stop!
Bad end one. What a sissy. Damn it anyways! Oh my god. I have to fight him all over again. Ow, okay, so he does 20 damage to me per hit. Speed up. Shit. Shit. I'm not being careful about this now. That was almost really bad. Alright, there's that. Oh, god damn it. I know I chose the wrong end. Blah, 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 blah. God damn it. I felt like that would have been the better one because... Like... What's wrong with being a wimp? Uh-huh. You may feel like a sissy. Because <laughs> her name's Sissy. For not being able to free him, but... Is that such a bad thing? David? I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was... Dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man. Especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married. And it made me hate myself more and more. But, looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I won't give up either. And it's thank to you, to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I'll oh my god, go away. God damn it, guys. Bunch of spam. Uh, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David, did the box come with the key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open it, so... Though I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What? R really? I, uh, picked it up around here. Key from my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenant's involved with the box. And this continues to, you know, play into it that, you know, Sissy is the dude's ex. What does this mean? What does that mean? Whatever. I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages. Which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? seems that way. It has an address on it. Uh, 
Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay. Be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well... Aww. I'm really thankful, David. Uh, I just wanted you to be happy and... Let's see each other again sometime. Th that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. And this concludes scene one. Hotel Ruinheim. Sissy. End. So we'll save. We'll just save over this. And I think I will end it here, guys. So next time we will continue with the story. Goodbye, everyone.